right? Mm -hmm. Arwan's point of view is that he is trying to find the tools that he needs to fight Terran fire with Terran fire, right? Bright iron fire with bright iron fire. And if you're not strong enough, one of the things that uh, he said to you was, you know, that you're going around, you're trying to gather allies as well, right? Yeah. Because, you know, this is this is your your traditional, you know, David and Goliath thing, right? It's another thing like Lord of the Rings. You're a tiny little band. This is a massive, powerful, powerful warlock that's got minions of undead at his disposal that he has pulled from the Civil War grave sites of Terra and uh, is now using them. And this is why nobody in this in this world has been successful standing against him very well is because they they can't fight against the bright iron now um i remember that we were trying to go east um to the elf land what's it called it's called feywild i think feywild mm -hmm. We were trying to maybe meet some of my kin and join, help them join us uh, and support us. Well, I mean, if we were to try and do that, we'd have to figure out which of these table locations. Well, that's is what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, like, if we can try and guess. Oh, thank you. This is something that you've got as a new tool. Is you've discovered there's a there's actually a portal system. Yes. Yeah. Thing is, is that. It's not an easy to use portal system because you don't know where the hell they are in the world. Each of these, each of these locations. Uh, so far, the two that you have visited have both been on these pinnacles, mm -hmm. and um, uh, other than the runes to identify them that you can finally now read, we you have names that give oh. you some description, but that's it. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry the cat. I beg your pardon. <laughs> no, you cannot go lay on the no. TV. Huh? Somebody, who's who's got the remote? No, baby. That way, you, and look, it's a weir tiger who's joined you in the halls of fire. It took you a while to get here, weir tiger. You know. Um, it could also be interpreted that the place that we were. Um, had we gone a little bit farther east of the shore, we would have been in the realm of the mer people. Yes, <laughs> mer people exist. Um, also, it's not the. So it, we were we, actually we getting totally really gone close. Shoe portals. Do you guys remember the haunted mansion? Yes. Yes, that yeah. was our first portal. So we've been through three now. But, but none <laughs> of the none of the portals. <laughs> That's not. None of the. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that whatever name was given okay. to Two. the haunted mansion was after the creation of this portal system. So I'm sure that the portal that would go back to the haunted mansion would not say haunted mansion. Well, also, I mean, it took us to a weird swamp area. Well, so. yeah, yeah. You did not arrive at one of these portals. You just basically no. fell out in the air. You, cannot you, can't, eat you can't eat the minis, Weird Tiger. Can you get him off of there, I think? You come off, mister. Oh. Good Lord. This is why we have to build a... a... <laughs> oh, he's after you now. Oh, no. Larry the fighter cat. Oh, he's he going to go down. He was uh -oh. not uh -oh. impressed nope. with me. Nope. Nope. He's mad that he got uh, kicked out. Not, not impressed. Leaving in his favorite uh, mode of transport. Before we go anywhere, I really would like to do the healing thing. We're, we're all healed to 100%. No, nope. he's not. He's not. Oh. Okay, so Nor you have I. all your spells back and you want to use one of your cleric clones? You, you should be at 100%. I'm not. I'm Why not? He told, uh, the game master told you that you would be 100%. Oh, no, I didn't say 100%, but I said you got another uh, eight points in oh, the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I still need healing. So I'd like to do a level one spell, if that would be okay. May I do so? So you want to do a level one spell or a cleric font? No, I want to do a level one spell. You can do so if you wish. I need a slot, a token, one of your spell tokens. Glenn, are these spares that are in here? What's the deal oh, with these? They must be, because I have Pass my along. four spells. All right. I'm going to put them away in the other. Way. 
All right. And with the level one spell the way that it is, the amount of healing or damage increases by 1d8, and then the extra healing for the two action version increases by eight. So we have 1d8 plus eight. Is that correct? Yeah, I know. It was right here. Oh. No, All right. the, then there's an extra eight points on top of it. 1d8. Plus eight. That's plus what eight. Said. Roll an eight. Roll a d8, and then give yourself eight plus whatever that says. So two plus eight. Ten points of healing for whoever still needs a top up. No, you don't. Does that make a difference for you? I'm not forty out of fifty-six, so I'm good. I think we'll be good to go. Out of 56? I'm, uh, my max is 44. I'm a tank. Hmm. He's a She's tank. He's a tank. You're a tiger tank. I'm a tiger tank. Hmm. Let's put a tiger in your tank. You've already done that one. I am a sprightly little elf. Can did in anybody gamers, get that on camera? In gamers no. jargon, yeah, I did. you would be what is called a ranged DPS, damage per second. Uh, Glenn also would be, he'd actually be called, wizards are called glass cannons, so damn ranged as well. Um, Lavinia's kind of a hybrid cleric. Hey, you, come here. Lavinia's kind of a hybrid. Um, Thaddeus is primarily a melee along with a uh, person. So you basically have two range, two melee, and uh, although Percy, of course, is good with his ranged as well. And then, um, what? What? Uh, and uh, then a cleric who's half and half. A cleric who's a uh, jack of all trades. Okay, so what's the plan now? Now that you've done the healing, what are you going to do? So we're going to pick a portal. Mr. DM, have you? Captured these portal mm -hmm. names anywhere in the journal? I have not put them in the journal. That's a good thing. I'll do that. The, okay. um, but keep that on your to-do list for me to do. But Thaddeus has written them down. But I yes, I have. I do have them all written down. I just don't have them on a list I can put in the journal yet. I got to transpose them. You wanting to jump over there now? That's a good place for him to be instead of on the TV. He's so social, though. He's like, what are you guys all talking about? Let, let me just sit in the middle of it. That's and exactly eat right. Eat your figurines. Because <laughs> <clears throat> he could be up high. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, where do we want to go? Well, let's uh, read them all out for us, Thaddeus. All right, the ones we, we know are Mist Vale Marsh. Uh, which is the Firefinger. Um, the Ice Cairn. Mm -hmm. You probably don't remember very much about that one. I wasn't, I was not. Blood awake. Cold. Yeah. Um, we also have, so the others are Frost Reach. I'm guessing that's in the north as well. Mm. Harrow, Harrow Fjord. You know, that sounds kind of familiar. Sounds a bit like that place we went to and crossed the river. Maybe. Maybe. Remember when we crossed the river and we went to a swamp? Well, where do we want to go? Well, okay. Well, let's carry on. Sunfire Oasis. Celestia's Veil. Vale, uh, Verdantus. Uh, Hall 2. Iron Root Citadel. Silver Shale. Thunder Plains, Sable Serpent Lake, Shadow Gorge. Next on anything that says serpent. All three, Lumina Cove, Whispering Pass, and Viridian Cape. Lumina Cove intrigues me. Lumina Cove? It sounds kind of... Moonish. Yeah, it sounds like there'd be a, a moon over the sounds water. Sounds like a mermaid lagoon underneath a magical moon. So what quest are we currently chasing? Your hand. Well, we're we're just trying to assemble uh, some powers and get some weapons and try and figure out how to what direction to approach this army from, right? So we thought maybe we would uh, 
chill with the elves and see if we can enlist their assistance. We've already talked to the dwarves, and they seem to be very noncommittal about helping. So they just kind of hide under the earth. We talked to the frog people, and they got their own problems. They got their own problems. They also confronted part of the undead army, right? So, yeah, so they're an ally. They're an ally. They're definitely on our side. So, oh, sorry, yeah. So, um, Lavinia, can you give us any spiritual guidance with your skull mother? Everybody's sitting way too far away from their mics. Okay. I'm right by my mic. I wasn't talking. Mm. Let's just talk to Mama. Actually, Grandma. Abuelita. Say hi to Abuelita. By the way, Abuelita. Abuelita's name is Abuelita. now Abuelita Mala. Abuelita, Abuelita Mala. M-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. That's what name she gets, because I asked you to give me one, you didn't give me one, so I gave her one. I had to do right Abuelita in. Malita. No. Mala. Abuelita. Abuelita. It's actually Abuela Mala, not Abuelita. It's Abuela mm -hmm. Mala. Abuelita is little grandmother. She's my little Abuela grandmother. and Abuelita are interchangeable because I researched it. So she is now Abuela Mala. Let's speak to Abuela Mala and see what she has to say. Close your eyes, everybody. Put your energy into the skull. Stomper, stomper, domper, do. Nobody stompity, romper, room. Sorry. I see. So, Dave. in the future, Abuelita will begin to speak in riddles. She's not speaking in riddles today because the game master hasn't got those done yet. Um, so, uh, what is the question? What was the question you wanted to ask Abuela? Yes, you can open your eyes. <laughs> well, I think what is our next quest, right? Like, what, what's, which, what's our, what's next our path? Should we go through? Which of these places sounds the most promising? Can you get anything out of that? Where should we go next? Abuelita gives you completely unhelpful advice, like follow your heart. <laughs> Gracias. L Thank Luminicove you. it is. Yep, Luminicove it is. Luminicove sounds good to me. Luminicove. Very well. Okay, have margaritas there. I don't know. Anyways. Wasting away in margarita there. Okay, so are you actually stepping through the portal? Is that yes, your plan? We're, we're all going into Luminicove. As we join hands and step into the portal. As you join hands and step into the portal, you find yourselves on the pinnacle, uh, another pinnacle, in the middle of what looks to be a cove, someplace Ooh, that's, that's rather tropical. Hmm. Okay. Nice for a change. Not a hey. swamp or somewhere. Right. We are finally warming up. You find yourself just like you are right there on the game map. Did we establish whether Thaddeus had a sextant or a compass or any of that? Oh, I've got compasses. I've got. I brought one with me, and I got one from my uncle. So we can tell which way is north. Yes. And that's another stupid question. Does, does your compass seem to work the same in this world as it does in ours? From the examination, using a compass as you have, the answer is yes. Okay. Okay, but wouldn't you be able to? Like, wouldn't we be able to know which way is north just because? Like the sun placements and whatnot. Well, yeah, well, but we haven't we knew been what time of day like time of day, right? So, but if we jump from one place to another, we don't know what time zone we're in. What, Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So now that we are in Lumina Cove, what are we Good going choice, to do by next? The way. All right. Well, you are now standing on top of a pinnacle. Um, it doesn't look like there are any stairs or anything. If there were, they're so ancient that they've been worn away. As we're standing on the top of this pinnacle, what can we see around us? So what you can see around you is uh, just like the scene behind me on the game screen. 
basically the pinnacle goes down to a little bit of beach around it on all all sides it is in the middle of a cove um, as Thaddeus uses his compass he establishes that the cove opens out into a tropical ocean towards the west and that the mainland is towards the east oh so we could actually be on the west coast of the california. nation yeah essentially in the same area as california or it could be great lake is this salt water you we don't, don't know, know yet. you get down there and check it out no but either. when you look at the water it is quite a light color it is not you know it's so it's, it's not a, it's, it's a not lighter very blue. deep who even knows if we're still in north america we could be in thailand well uh i think we should start scouting out a way down okay so sure. good idea. that would be the best let's begin our stroll i'll be in the back <laughs> of course you will. <laughs> Making sure that nothing sneaks up behind us. That's right. Yes. I'll be pussyfooting at the front. Ah. Okay, so uh, what direction are you choosing to go here? Yeah, uh, so move your minis the way you want to go. You're saying that there's no sort of path down, down like we can't like way. little... As you, as you search stuff. all of the ways, and I'll zoom the map out a little bit for you so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, that's not too bad. As you search all the way, you find that like most of the other pinnacles, it's got a flat space on the top, but if there were was ever a passageway um, that came up to it or stairs or something... It's long since crumbled away. This is different than the Marshvale Spire. The Marshvale Spire, you actually had to come up an internal chimney because the uh, it had had ladders, mm -hmm. made of vine and wood that actually had been used to scale it in the past. In this case, you see none of that. You know, you see no signs of habitation. It looks like another forgotten portal in the middle of nowhere. Like it looks like we're gonna have to kind of. Use our climbing gear. Yeah, shimmy down, and then shimmy down again because there are steps. Yeah, um, but, but we can like use our climbing gear steps. to get yeah. down anything that's too drastic. So, um, I think we should descend as far as we can without additional aid, and then carry on with climbing gear. And we want to head towards the beach, so right? Happy. So. You, you've got beach on all sides, and then you can decide whether you're going to go into the cove. I mean, yeah. you, it's really your only choice to go into the cove because yeah. to go west out into the into the ocean would be, you know, you, you don't have anything to go that way. No, no. Let's go, uh, yeah, into the cove. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we descend. Okay. Um, if you're going to descend, everybody needs to roll... Uh, your um, d20. I guess it's fortitude. Is this what it was? Not fortitude. Oh, acrobatics. Your uh, strength. Strength. Because oh, you're climbing. Strength or acrobatics, whichever is higher. My strength is zero. Simon, oh, dog, I can hear you woofing over yeah, there. What is it you want? Do you, does he? Do you need to go out again? Okay, my or are you just being a. Just being a high maintenance dog. Mm. Fifteen. Ten. Ten. Nineteen. Wait, 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 no. But I don't Acrobats, have my modifier. I have nine. On it. Sorry. Okay. Nine. Uh, so it would be 19. fourteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. And Percy. Fourteen. Fourteen. So All right. Nineteen plus whatever my acrobatics modifier is. Well, do it from the drop down menu like yeah the... are you guys Got using it. your climbing gear or are you using ropes and all of that stuff yeah you're yeah. using ropes all right well you don't have any problem by setting mm -hmm. a, a piton in the top uh you're able to use that as an anchor and there's also some pretty good stones as you can see around the ring that work well uh you're able to uh, lower yourself down the sheer part to what is basically the next uh step on your way down uh you spend the rest of the afternoon doing this and by the time uh you it was it was by your 
by your uh, estimation, by your estimation, you had, uh, it was about noon when you arrived at the portal. So by about supper time, you make it down to the beach. I hope uh, there's coconuts. I take a, a scroll and do a crude map as we go so we can find this portal a, a second time. All right. Okay. Now, as it shows on the screen behind me, the issue that you have is, is that this pinnacle is out in the middle of this cove. One, the side of the cove, the uh, western side of the cove, opens out into a very light blue water. Uh, then there's um, the bay between you and the eastern side of the cove, which is kind of a, a half circle affair. Um, so you are cut off from the mainland until you can get across that body of water. Well, one of us We're won't have a very problem. Very good with it. swimmer. We could all just like. <laughs> like. I think I'm just going to do some scouting around to see what other creatures are in these waters. Yeah, I think I think you'd have the best bet of surviving that. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what it was that you just said. Had you been paying attention, I, I was said. attempting to. Too loud. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I should probably do some scouting in the water, just see what other creatures are in there. Mm, good call. Very good call. Too bad you killed off my familiar. I'm still bitter about that. Well, how many days has it been now? It's been long enough that it's no, been, it be it's long. been, it's been four way... Days. It's been longer it's than been that. Four days. Raven <laughs> mournfully says it's been four <laughs> days since his familiar died. How many days have you got left? Three, right? It takes a week? It takes a week. It takes a week. He's having to work without all your extra advantages. <sighs> Sad. I know. Um, I left my real live wolf dog back in the haunted mansion, playing with like little creepy skull doll girls. But so you don't have magical um, imbuement in your little critter. I. It I'm was an actual. Dire and wolf. Pet and dives into the water while and they're bickering. Like, the, the, it would attack. Can okay. you see through it? Does it give you spells? Um, I'm going to craft uh, out of my Bowie knife and a piece of wood that I try to find uh, a spear and see if I can do some spear fishing. Okay. Um, roll a survival check to see if you're successful finding some wood on some oh, driftwood or something you can use. Oh, dog. Uh, that doesn't look great. Roll the two. You roll the two. You find driftwood, but it's too brittle to actually make a spear out of it. Okay. Can we make a fire out of it? Uh, maybe. Let's fish it out of the water. Or like, do we find need a fire? Post One of the things you notice is there are a lot of crabs running around. Ooh, Ooh let's uh, yeah. let's roast us some crabs. Get a butter candle yeah. going. Mm. Yeah. Want to catch some crabs? Of crabs. Not from me, I'm talking about from the water. <laughs> So, uh, Thaddeus has decided to go do some swimming to explore, right? Oh, 26. I rolled a 17 to catch crab. <laughs> you catch all the crab you need to catch. All right, cool. Let's let's uh, start making some crab soup, buddy. Crab Thaddeus, soup. as he goes for his evening swim, finds that the water is warm, it's beautiful, it's clean, it's clear, it is full of fish. Uh, but he doesn't find anything else other than it looks like there might be a very, very old shipwreck in the deepest part of the cove. How, how deep is the water? It looks like that the deepest part of the water, by Thaddeus's estimation, between you and the mainland is probably down about uh, 60, 80 feet. So, like, obviously, we can't just, like, trot across. Um, no. Or wade across or whatever. But, um... Well, we can pull out um, our folding and, like, boat. How far are we... How far are we from the little beach that, like, at the base of the pinnacle to the mainland beach? Looks to be probably, you would guess, probably about half a mile. Like a kilometer. Okay. You guys think you can swim a kilometer? I think I could. I, I'm sure that if we have uh, uh, Thaddeus helping us and making sure we don't drown, we should be okay. 
Well, while we've still got light, I'm going to check out the shipwreck. Okay. Cool. Before the sun goes cook, down. We're going to cook some crab. Yeah, we're cooking crab. With that crab, this dri drift driftwood and crab bake. Okay. That's good. Okay. Um, as Thaddeus goes to check, roll an investigation. Okay. Uh, search. Uh, 12 is 17. As you approach uh, the shipwreck, um, everything seems fine at first, but all of a sudden you notice something blurry so fast, almost faster than you can see. Bolt! From one side of the shipwreck, there's a hole in the hull of this shipwreck. Uh, bolt and swim extremely fast uh, away from you. Um, and uh, it's kind of, as you approach the shipwreck, the shipwreck is between the pinnacle and the cove. Mm -hmm. It bolts to the side, so further down the cove, out of sight. And it's extremely fast. All you see is a tail like this, and you think you catch a glimpse of some waving hair. Now, one of the things that you are surprised to discover as you get closer to the shipwreck in the fading light is that uh, this is clearly a flying shipwreck. Okay. Because there's obvious signs of <coughs> all of the things to do with some of the ships that you guys have, uh, have uh, found in the past. have seen up in the air and the one that you found in the desert that was crashed okay um i am going to call the game right there we're going to leave it right there with those interesting ideas congratulations we survived Shere Khan. I kind of wish you'd hopped in a couple of those it's other portals. Not Shere Khan. I know it's not Shere Khan, but I'm like, all, all I can think of is Jungle Book, Shere Khan. You could have looked in a portal without having, you know, go look, come back. We, go look in the next one, come back. We did. No, you just go in the first one. Okay, we'll stay here. Well, it's, all, it's like a tropical <laughs> she island. She stuck her hand in and popped. She went through it. You did. When? So... Today? Anyways, last time you know, we went through point. portal. We could have looked under the halls before we just. Yeah, I had scenes for you to we see. At the top of, of Firefinger, <laughs> you said, I put my hand in the portal. That's true. She did do that. And right. pop, you went through the portal. Yeah, okay. So this is, you know, this is news to me that you could stick your head in and come out. I did not know this. We, I assumed that any part of your body makes contact with that portal, bum, you're gone. Well, I mean, we, like once we're through the portal, I mean, we could go back. We could be like, oh, hey, this is a lovely tropical island. Let's leave it. But I think we're due for a vacation, personally. Well, and I don't mind this place. <laughs> so far. So, so far, far, so good. So far, so good. We, we, we got some and, and if we really do crab. get ticked off, we can always come back to this island, climb up and go back through the portal. Well, try to someplace else. Why don't we do that? Why don't we climb back up and look at other places? Because we're in a tropical island area. Well, maybe a tropical we'll, lagoon oasis. Maybe we'll find a nice, nice beautifully um, um, presented mansion with comfortable furniture and, and waiters and, and uh, servants. Like a haunted mansion? Well, with a bear in it? Perhaps. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, there's all kinds of other things that we could have, uh, we could look at. That's true. But I think, like, four out of five of us want to be here. I'm not suggesting <laughs> we should do it. I'm just saying that's an option. I, I want to have some crabs before we just, you know, some crabs do. I want to, to a mermaid. And... and and I still haven't chosen my spells for the day, so. Oh. Rob, you can go ahead and stop okay. the recording now. Yeah. So stop recording. We done. Done like dinner. You guys all did great.